Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cybelle Fascal, a Harvard Berkeley dual degree program student studying economics, music composition. Today I'm gonna be reading the common F essay that got me into Harvard. So this is a highly, highly requested video from people, mostly people on my TikTok page. I wanted to make this video to give people a sense of how I presented myself in my application and how specifically I use storytelling and my own experiences to highlight the strength in my application and also the nature of my accomplishments. From Sea to Shining Sea, singing the Mandarin version of America the Beautiful in a recording studio, clutching the microphone in nervous excitement, I imagine the millions of people who'd watched the 2014 Super Bowl Coca-Cola commercial aiming to celebrate the multicultural identity of America. Following a nationwide search, I was proud to be representing my country where different cultures were embraced. I ended a promo for the commercial with, if you can't speak someone else's language, you can use music to communicate. Although it represented what I believe to be a realistic portrayal of modern day America, the campaign proved controversial and Coca-Cola had to censor YouTube comments such as this girl doesn't even speak English, questioning why they had let me sing a quintessentially American song in a language other than English for an event as cherished as the Super Bowl. At age 11, I was deflated by the criticism, wanting to share with critics that I did in fact speak English and had assiduously translated the English into Chinese trying to capture the nuance of the lyrics. Ironically, just a few years earlier, when living in China, I wasn't considered Chinese enough. At eight years old, only a month after being thrust into the Beijing school system, I stood with both arms out in punishment, speechless in front of the class, as my teacher threatened to hit the whiteboard in for my clumsy non-Chinese method of solving a math problem. Spending my childhood across three continents with a Chinese American mom and French dad, multiculturalism was my norm. I learned Chinese, English, and French simultaneously, and for much of my childhood felt comfortable and even grateful for my ability to participate in all three cultures, whereas these experiences left me feeling inadequately able to represent any of them. Wanting to better understand why differences would prompt fear and be met with contempt, I engrossed myself in studying key moments in history and attempting to look beyond my privileged international upbringing. My piano benched my abode. I spent countless hours striking ivory chords and furiously scribbling ideas in my notebooks, trying to reconcile the past and the present and make music out of the discord. Meanwhile, I continued to do what I love, supporting people in the community by singing, whether performing at American Cancer Society events or animating fundraising benefits for children. Unexpectedly, songwriting and singing became tools for me to speak out and attempt to bring about change. Through songwriting, my indignation became my inspiration. Years spent in my room drafting songs related to social justice, gender equality, and racism eventually led to composing a song dedicated to the ongoing struggle for civil rights in the United States that won the 2018 Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Speak Up and Sing Out Music Contest and was broadcast on Capitol Hill. Whether I was singing to myself in my bedroom or performing my songs in front of hundreds of people, I realized that music has a power to connect beyond that of words themselves. Today, I am no longer that nervous 11-year-old who would stay quiet in the face of criticism and racially charged judgments. Instead, I see my position as one of empowerment, to bridge not only cultures, but ways of thinking about certain social issues. I see every new song I write as an opportunity to promote discourse and take a step towards creating change. Years later, at the Clive Davis Theater in the Grammy Museum, I take a deep breath and sing the opening line for my song, Proclamation. I have faith in humanity, rising from sorrow will lead. So that was my Common App essay. I think the main takeaways from my essay are one, making sure that everything that you say in the essay is not just about conveying a powerful story, but also making sure that it, it contributes something to highlight you as a candidate for the schools that you're applying to. Two, using my own pain and talking about how I use my own struggles as a way to empower others and contribute in a positive way to my community. Three, I think the essay highlights really well who I am as a person, you know, going from the state of ignorance, but then going through the growth to be able to confidently speak out for others. So I went through about 23 drafts of my essay. Uh, for the common essay, it's really important to read it back to yourself multiple times over so that you have a new developed perspective, a fresh perspective each time you read it and you can pick out errors, say, oh, I want to add this part, make little changes and you give yourself that time because cramming is the worst, oh my God. Don't cram this essay stuff. Take your time with it. First, write out all of your thoughts. It's fine if it goes over the word limit. Then from your brainstorm, pick out the things that you specifically wanna focus on and then structure it in that way. Write it out. 
And then when you have the story that's there, then you can embellish it with all of those magical, sprinkly storytelling elements and different transitions and whatnot. But the main takeaway at the core of every essay is what kind of person are you and what do you have to contribute? Or what have you contributed and how does that inform what we think you will contribute to our college campus? I hope that this video was helpful. If you found this video helpful, I suggest you thumbs up it, comment, share, subscribe, so we can share this video with more people and give them valuable advice when applying for college. Bye!